ranking member of the Homeland Security, Border Security, and Maritime Security Committee, uh, working on human trafficking and smuggling, and coming from a city that has been called the epicenter of human trafficking, Houston, Texas. So I thank both the chairman uh, and uh, the ranking member for this opportunity to put forward this simple and straightforward uh, amendment that affirms the example of the national goodness that makes America the most exceptional nation on earth. The amendment says none of the funds made available by this act may be used in contravention of Article 2, Section 2 of the Constitution. I'm joined in this amendment by Congressman Steve Stockman, Lois Frankel, Congressman uh, Congresswoman Frederica Wilson and Congressman John Conyers. Mr. Chairman, I was proud uh, recently to support resolutions 573 and HR 617 strongly condemning the ongoing violence and systematic gross human rights violations against the people of Nigeria carried out by the militant organization Boko Haram especially the April 15, 2014 kidnapping of more than 200 young girls kidnapped from the Chibok School by Boko Haram. This is what the people of Northeast Nigeria are facing every single day. Since 2013, more than 4,500 men and women and children have been slaughtered by Boko Haram. In addition, it took the United States 25 months after the first two Americans were attacked and one year after the third and fourth Americans were targeted before Boko Haram was designated a foreign terrorist organization. It took the United Kingdom 16 months from the time its first citizens uh, was killed by Boko Haram to legally brand them as terrorists. It took the United Nations 33 months after the United Nations headquarters in Nigeria was bombed before Boko Haram was sanctioned as an Al-Qaeda linked terror group. And on June 2nd, uh, 2014, the European Union finally designate Boko Haram as a terror group. NGOs have indicated that in April the average deaths were 100 a week high by Boko Haram and later it was an average of 100 deaths a day. So they couldn't do enough killing, killing of Christians and Muslims and journalists and health care providers and relief workers and school children. They had to kidnap 200 children, 200 girls. The international community working with the African Union is assisting the government of Nigeria in locating and rescuing the missing girls, bringing an end to Boko Haram's reign of terror, and ensuring that they are brought to justice because of their crimes against humanity. On May 21, 2014, the President notified the Congress that pursuant to the authority vested in him by Article 2, Section 2 as a Commander-in-Chief and to conduct foreign relations, that he had directed deployment of approximately 80 U.S. Armed Forces personnel to Chad as part of the U.S. efforts to locate and support the safe return of our 200 girls who are reported to have been kidnapped in Nigeria. The President informed the Congress that these personnel will support the operation of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance aircraft for missions over northern Nigeria and the surrounding area. The force will remain in Chad until it is support, until its support in resolving the kidnapping situation. My simple amendment indicates that nothing in this bill will contravene the President's authority while these girls are missing. Mr. St Chairman, four members of Congress over July, excuse me, June 12th to June 16th, went to Nigeria. We were in Northeast Nigeria. We were in the Borno State, in Abuja. We visited with the victims, the girls who escaped from the Chibu School. They drove two days to meet with us, to tell us the outrageous violence and how they were laid on the ground. And the Boko Haram with AK-47s were pointed at their heads and said, answer my questions or die. Then we met a woman whose throat was sliced and her husband, a police officer, was decapitated. The enforcement, the military, and the police officers of Nigeria need our help. No, this is not an encouragement or a suggestion at all for boots on the ground. It is a simple collaboration that will stop the siege of Boko Haram that is spreading across Africa and the Sahel Ray area. It is almost like the unknowing understanding of the Taliban by many in America before 9-11. Boko Haram, is a disaster waiting to happen for the continent in a state like Nigeria that is about to be 440 million people that has a 7% growth rate uh, and is one of the most prosperous nations in Africa. It has 60% poverty, it has 10 million children out of school, and Boko Haram is burning hospitals, schools, Christian churches, mosques, and killing 
pastors and emirs. And so this amendment is to remind us, just as Hubert Humphrey said, people are the great issue of the 20th century. Now they are the great issue of the 21st century. It is time to treat our boys and girls and women with respect. As I close, I ask my colleagues to Gentleman's support the amendment expired. to stop the headlines like this as Boko Haram continues to rage across Nigeria. I yield back my time. Gentleman's I ask support time for the Jackson Lee Amendment. Does anyone seek uh, recognition in opposition to the amendment? The question is on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Texas. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to. For what purpose does the gentleman from Iowa seek recognition? Mr. Chairman, I have the amendment, an amendment at the desk. Clerk will report the amendment. Amendment offered by Mr. King of Iowa. At the end of the bill, before the short title, insert the following. Section, none of the funds made available by this act may be used to transfer weapons to the Palestinian Authority. Pursuant to House Resolution 628, the gentleman from Iowa and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Iowa. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And as simply, this amendment says, as, as uh, generally read, none of the funds made available by this act may be used to transfer weapons to the Palestinian Authority. And, and I'd like to express why I brought this amendment. And I take you back, Mr. Chairman, to uh, April 23, 2014, when Fatah and Hamas uh, unified within the Palestinian Authority and the, and the Palestinian um, organization. That unification uh, brought about a terrorist, a terrorist designated organization, a foreign terrorist organization, joined together with Fatah. And on June 6, so this is April 23rd, on June 6 of 2014, State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki said, quote, we will work with and fund the new Palestinian Authority government, close quote. So what that means is they've decided for the first time that our taxpayers borrowed money are going to be committed to a terrorist organization. And as 1997 was when Hamas was designated as a foreign terrorist organization. And since 97, Hamas has launched tens of thousands of rockets from the Gaza Strip into Israel. Uh, Khalid Mashal of Hamas.